I'm going to tell you a story. First thing I have to understand is, that doesn't work the way it says. You got my oracle. You don't know who's talking to you. Welcome to cult. All right. I'm still doing the uh, the Sanskrit grammar section. So I'm moving on to, uh, I'm still in verbs. We're right? still in special tense moods. And uh, we are currently on the Ad and Rud classes. In the previous uh, lesson, we learned about three of these six complex verb classes uh, in these special mood tenses. Root. Uh, the root, su, with the strong stem, su no, and the weak stem, su nu. Tan, with the strong stem, tano, and the weak stem, tanu. Kri, with the strong stem, krina, krina, and the weak stem, krini. In this lesson, we will learn about two more complex verbs classes. Both of these classes can create stems that end with consonant sounds. And since many verbs ending start with consonants, <coughs> and since so, uh, these classes might cause various sonic changes. Dves plus T to Dvesti. Someone hates. The ad the odd class. Also known as class two. Uh Aradigana, the group starting with odd. The odd class does not use a suffix. Instead, its strong stem is the root with a uh, uh, with a strengthened vowel, and its weak stem is the root itself. Huh. Wow, that's interesting. The root ad has for uh, the root ad has ad for its strong stem, and the same ad for its weak stem. So ah uh, does not demonstrate these changes well. So let's instead leave the root twice. Hey, which has a clear difference between the strong and weak stems. Yeah, that makes sense. Dvesti, someone hates. Dvisanti, they hate. The word, uh, for the word vesti, note that the root ends with a consonant. Uh, uh, the root ends with a consonant s, and the endings uh, begin with the con and the ending begins with a consonant t. By a slight change, a t after an a a s. Be, uh, by a slight change. A T after an S becomes a T. So we have the resulting Dvesti. The odd class has many regular roots. The most important regular root of the odd class is us, which means be or exist. It's for Osti. I use Osti a lot. Osti is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> you're too stupid to Osti. <laughs> um, its strong stem is us and its weak stem is s. Vanamasti. There is a forest. The Naravanasanti. Monkeys are in the forest. The Rud class. Also known as Class 7. Ruda de Gana. The group starting with Rud. Rud Rud. Anyway, I just I just like rolling my R's. That's what that was all about. Like the um like the odd class. The root class doesn't use the suffix. Instead, we create the strong and weak stem by inserting a nasal sound after the root's last vowel. For the strong stem, we insert na. For the weak stem, uh, weak stem we insert n. Rud. Runari. Son obstructs. Rud. Rundanti. They obstruct. Again, notice the sandy change. Runari. Uh, runad. Plus t. Runati. Uh, oh, runad, uh, runadi. Yeah, okay, let me redo that again. Runad plus T, runadi. As a reminder, R generally causes nearby N sounds to become na. Uh, become na. It's, it's a, right, anyway. Uh, hence we have runadi and uh, not runadi. Uh, endings of the odd class. With one or two exceptions, the odd class uses the same endings as the Cree class. But since the odd class may cause many sandy changes, these endings may not always be clear. We want to show you that uh, what these changes are like, so we will show you uh, all the forms of uh, Dvis in the special tense boots. <coughs> First, here are the Parasmita forms of uh, Dvis in the present tense. Third person, singular dual plural. Dvesti, Dvista. Dvisanti. Second person, singular dual plural. Dvexi, Dvisa, Dvisa. First person, singular dual plural. Dvesmi, Dvisva, Dvisma. 
Uh, note that the singular in all of these cases are the strong stem and the weak stem are the dual and the plural. Next, here is the command mode. Third person, singular, dual, plural. Divestu, divestam, divisanto. Second person, uh, singular, dual, plural. Dividi, divista, divista. First person, singular, dual, plural. Divisani, divisava. Divisama. All right, so the strong stems in here are all of the first person and the third person singular. All the rest are weak stems. In the second person singular, we use di instead of he if the root ends in a consonant. Then divis plus di becomes dividi due to sandi. Next, we have the ordinary past tense. Uh, third person, singular, dual plural. Advet. Advistam, advisan. Second person, singular dual plural. Advet, advistam, advista. First person, singular dual plural. Advisam, advista, advisma. In this case, all of the singulars and all the uh, first person, first, second, and third person are all of the strong stems, and the weak stems are the dual and the plural. Why do we use advet? Uh, this is due to a complex. Uh, this is due to a complex rule of consonant sandi. Read our lesson on consonant sandi. Learn more. I'll probably do that another time. If the root ends in a uh, long a, we can also use the ending uh instead of an on. Ya, ayan, ayo. They went. Finally, we have the potential mood. Third person. Dvisyat. Dvisyatam. Dvisyatam. Dvisyuk. Second person, singular dual plural. Divisia, divisiata, divisiata. First person, singular dual plural. Divisiam, divisiava, divisiama. Now here are the atmanapada for the divis in the present tense. Third person, singular dual plural. Diviste, divisate, divisate, uh, divisate. Alright, I screwed that up. Third person, singular dual plural. Diviste, Dvisate, dvisate. Second person, singular dual plural. Dvixe, dvisate, dvitve. First person, singular dual plural. Dvise, dvisvahe, dvisvahe. The command mode. Third person, okay, so all of those, all weak steps. Uh, third. The command mood. Third person, singular dual plural. Dvistam, dvisatam, dvisatam. Second person, singular dual plural. Dviksva, dvisatam, dvidvam. First person, singular dual plural. Dvisai, dvisavahai, dvisamahai. And that is, um, First person, all strong stems, all the rest, weak stems. The ordinary past tense, these are all weak stems. Third person, singular dual plural. Advista, advisatam, advisata, advisa, advisatam, advidvam. Those are second person, singular dual plural. And now, first person, singular dual plural. Advisi. Avisvahi, avismahi. And now the potential mood. Third person, singular dual plural. Dvisita, dvisiatam, dvisiran. Second person, singular dual plural. Dvisitha, dvisiatam, dvisitvam. First person, singular dual plural. Dvisia. Visi vahi, visi mahi. Endings of the root class. The root class uses the same endings as the kurt, as the kri class, but as before, the root class may ha cause different. Uh, class may cause many different sandi. Here is the paras, uh, my pada forms for root in the present sense. In this case, all of these singular forms are going to be the strong sounds, and the weak sounds are going to be the dual and the plural. Third person, singular, dual, plural. 
runadi rundaha uh, runda rundanti second person singular dual plural runatsi runda runda first person singular dual plural runadmi runva runva and the command mood Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to tell you at the end which one of these are strong stems and which ones are weak stems. And if you are very interested, you can comment if you were able to notice the difference. Third person, singular dual plural. Runadhu. Rundam. Rundadhu. Second person, singular dual plural. Rundi. Rundam. Runda. First person. Singular dual plural. Runadani. Runadava. Uh, Runadhava. Runadama. All right, in this case, may, uh, hopefully you were able to tell. The first person, all of them, all strong stems. And the only other strong stem in that set was the third person singular, which is similar to another set earlier, actually. Uh, next are the ordinary past tense. Uh, third person, singular dual plural. Arnat, Arndan, Arndan. Second person, singular dual plural. Arnat, Arndam, Arnda. First person, singular dual plural. Arnadam, Arnva, Arndma. All right, in this case, all of these singular, once again, are all the strong sounds, and the dual plural, once again, the weak sounds. Why do we use Arnat? Again, this is due to a complex rule of uh, consonant study. Uh, read our lesson on the constants, and uh, yeah, I'll, apparently I'm definitely going to have to do uh, the constants on new lesson. Finally, we have the potential mood. Uh, these are going to be all we stems for the next two, uh, for the next set. Uh, third person, singular, dual, plural. Rundiat, rundiatam, rundiach. Second person, singular, dual, plural. Rundiach, rundiatam, rundiata. First person, singular, dual, plural. Rundiam, rundiava, rundiama. All right, next we have the Atmanapada forms of rud in the present tense. Third person, singular, dual, plural. Runde, rundate, rundate. Uh, runde, rundate, rundate. Second person, singular, dual, plural. Runse, rundafe, rundfe. First person. Singular dual plural. Runde, runfahe, runbahe. The command mode. All right, so all of those ones in the uh, amenapada of the rud, present sense, all weak sense. Command mode. Third person, singular dual plural. Rundam, rundata, uh, rundatam, rundatam. Oh, jeez. Once again, I'm sorry, well, let me start that over. Third person, singular dual plural. Rundam, rundatam, rundatam. Second person, singular dual plural. Rundsva, rundatham, rundvam. And first person, singular dual plural. Runatai, runadavahai, runadamahai. In this case, strong sense for all the first person, as we've, as at least I've seen before. Uh, maybe you have noticed as well. And uh, weak sense for all the second and third. It seems pretty common from what I've uh, noticed so far for strong sense to appear uh, in the singular and in the first person voice. Um, and either either all in the singular, all in the first person, or if it's in the first like if it's in the first person with something else, it appears usually just to be uh, the first person and the first the uh, third person singular. All right, the or I can be wrong though because this is something I just noticed now, so or I've been noticing throughout this. All right, uh, the ordinary past tense. Third person singular dual plural. Arunda, arundatam, arundata. Second person singular dual plural. Arunda, arundatham, arundvam. First person singular dual plural. Arundi, arundvahi, arundmahi. And the potential mood. 
Third person, singular dual plural. Rundita. Rundit yatam. Uh, rundi yatam. Rundi ran. Second person, singular dual plural. Rundi tha. Rundi ya tham. Rundi dham. Second person, uh, first person, singular dual plural. Rundi ya, rundi vahi, rundi mahi. All right. That seems like plenty for right now. This is the record, gonna sing myself out. Two more stands, make nine all together now. And that'll be fine to wrap up. Special dance moves after this one's on up. Then that'll be if I reckon by my memory high, but not laughing time. Talk to you later from me. Oracles of Kuna to Allah, yeah, yeah.